In this video, I will show you exactly how to blur a face in DaVinci Resolve 19. So even if the subject moves, the blur will stay locked onto the face. How can you do this? Let's dive in together with Christian's Tech Tips Episode 7. All right. I think not much explanation is needed, so let's dive straight into DaVinci Resolve 19. I'm using the studio version I purchased a few years ago, but no worries, this method works perfectly in the free version as well. Let's go. All right, I've already opened DaVinci Resolve 19 and I've already imported the video we want to edit together. I want to blur my face here, so we have this intro session here. In this video, I will show you exactly how to blur a face in and that's exactly where we want to start. So for that, I would say we have to, because I want to do an overlay and I also want to get rid of this blurring effect in the middle of the video then, we will copy this video. For that, I will select this video, click Ctrl C and Ctrl V, but I don't need the audio track twice. So I will select this video. I will deselect this snapping and also this linking section. Then I will select the audio track separately and then I will delete it. All right, now I have the video track separately. Now I will activate those two again and then I can simply move this video above the other one. So now we have the same video just with one audio track together. All right, so then we select the upper one and the next step is you will go to the color page. In the color page, we've already selected the correct video here. And what we do here is we have to select the sequence where we want to blur out our face. In that case, we will use the whole sequence because we copied it and I can cut out the scenes where I don't want to have it. Therefore, I did it. Okay, first of all, we go here to the submenu and go to the Windows icon. As soon as we select it, you have different options here. Because our face is like in an egg shape um, I will select circle and I will adapt it circle and it shows immediately here in my preview the circle I just want to put it directly over my face and I will adapt it here slightly so that my face including my hair and everything not too much is in frame so my whole face and my hairs are covered now this is the first part but we also move in this video. What does this mean? So we have to track our face based on our selection. For that, you change your view here from this window to tracker. You click on the tracker. In our case, we're at the beginning of the video, but in general, you can go to these double arrows here and track forward and reverse. Means the program will track the selected part of the video here. So in our case, my face and we'll track every single movement. Let's do this. All right, I think it did a great job. Let's check if this works. Okay, now, as you can see here, we have a note on this video where my face is just selected. The only thing what's missing here is our blur effect. This you can find here in the right upper corner. In that case, it's not the inspector, what we're used to use. No, it's effects. So when there is nothing here and you just see this note here, then click on effects. And then we click on the search function and search for mosaic blur all right this is exactly what we want so simply click this hold it down and drag and drop it with your left mouse button to this node and immediately it changed to this mosaic effect i think this is not enough so you have also here again in the right side some settings you can modify your mosaic effect so in that case we have the pixel frequency and i want to I think low it that I have not that many, so my face is even more disguised. Okay, so I think a value about, yeah, between 60 and 7 is a good value. And basically that's it. Let's see how it looks like. In this video, I will show you exactly how to blur a face 
in DaVinci Resolve 19. So even if the subject moves, the blur will stay locked onto the face. How can you do this? Let's dive in together with Christian's Tech Tips Episode 7. Okay, so this was the first part. The second part is I hold this mosaic effect here and I want to move away and it should stay in the same position. So in that case, this is a bit tricky, but when you can see, I can use this effect In this video, well. I will show you exactly how to blur a face. In okay, and the first thing what we have to do here in our main page, so I went back to the edit page here on the bottom, you see that it is blurred out all the time from the beginning, but this is not what we want because we want to show you the example how it works. Let's check the sequence, which should not be blurred. In this video, I will show you exactly how to blur a face. This is exactly the point. So I will cut this part off and I will drag and drop it here. This one should show the video, the first one without the blur effect and then switching to the blur. Effect. In this video, I will show you exactly how to blur a face in DaVinci Resolve 19. So even if the subject moves, the blur will stay locked onto the face. How can you do this? Okay, and this is exactly where this tracking should stop. I just want to have it blurred again, but it should stay in the middle and my face should not be blurred anymore. So this means we go to Can this part it? where I move my hands up and the blur should stay here. So basically I move this back and here now for sure the blur will the disappear. How can you do this? Let's dive in together. So we need here again a blur that we have this funny effect. Okay, for that I will do the same what I did before. I will copy paste, so Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy it, click those two buttons. I will delete the audio frame. Then I will move it back to the third video line here. The new one is created automatically. And then I will cut exactly this part out where I don't want to have this blur again on my face. Respectively, I want to have it um, static, not dynamic, moving around with the tracker function. So for that, it's very easy. We go back to our color page. So we have now the last video. We have to go to the beginning of this section. So I think this is the beginning. And this time it's very easy. You can just select again this window icon. We can draw a circle or this egg. So limit, we should limit it to this shape. All right, let's make it a bit co more compact. Okay, and then I think, let me just check where I move it here. So it should be, oh, I think this is not so bad. I can move it a bit to the right. Okay, and as simple as that, I will just use this mosaic blur again on this note. So it's fixed. All right, I think the position is now perfect. So the only thing what I have to adapt here is again here in the right corner, the pixel frequency. So I will use the same one as I used before around mid 60, 66, it's okay. And then it should look like the other one when we switch the scene. So let's have a look at the end product. In this video, I will show you exactly how to blur a face in DaVinci Resolve 19. So even if the subject moves, the blur will stay locked onto the face. How can you do this? Let's dive in together with Christian's Tech Tips Episode 7. Okay, I would say this was the perfect transition and that's it. <laughs> and that's how, uh, wait a second, you blur out the face in DaVinci Resolve 19. If you enjoyed this video and want more tips, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon down there for notifications. If you want to check out another helpful video, one should be popping up around here. Yeah. Thanks for watching, stay healthy, take care and see you in the next one.